Super, dann buchen wir das. Danke, ciao. Oh my gosh, you guys. You won't believe what just happened. I just booked my trip to the Maldives. Holy fucking shit. I'm a true thinking just another stupid Instagram girl going to the Maldives and ignoring the pandemic. Before you judge me, please let me. So if you don't know me, I'm Jasmine. I'm a soul food traveler from Germany. And uh, yeah, I share on my channel all tips and experiences on soul food travel, language trips and a lot more things to do with travel uh, on my channels here on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok and also on my blog. If you follow me here on YouTube you might know that I haven't really traveled since the pandemic. I sure I went to Greece um, and I went a bit to here in Germany to Berlin and Augsburg but that was pretty much it. Other than that I did it like you guys. I isolated. I haven't really seen my friends that much um, this past year and uh, yeah, I do care about the pandemic and I'm hopefully getting vaccinated soon. But uh, yeah, my initial plan was to travel in Europe again. But as I seen last year in Greece that people don't really care uh, if they are on vacation. They, I was pretty much the only person um, in that whole hotel or like on the entire trip that cared about wearing a mask and keeping their distance. and. I think like this year in Europe, first of all, Europe will get crowded, not only with Europeans finally wanting to travel after this long lockdown, but also Americans are coming that are vaccinated, which great, but uh, yeah, we get pretty crowded and people will get careless, which is obvious because people want to get their lives back and I get it, but there's still a pandemic going on. So um, actually I have a lot of um, off days now and I can quarantine when I come back to Germany so I was like okay why not skip Europe this year and go somewhere else where it's actually safe. Mexico and other not so safe places were off the hook so the only place that really um, was possible were the Maldives. Yes I know the Maldives are a high risk destination but it's mainly on the local islands and uh, most hotels are on isolated islands which makes it very very easy to do your social distance, keep your mask on and the safety measurements I will explain to you guys later. Um, you will see the Maldives are a safe destination. So in the end it took me like a whole week to finally decide on whether I should go or not. In the end my friends and family said go do it. It's not like it's the unsafest place ever and you will get COVID right away. No, it's really safe and uh, yeah, just do it if you want to do it. And so as you just saw, I booked the trip and I'm very excited. If you see this video I will be leaving in three days so definitely check out my Instagram and other social media um, and also like get ready for the vlogs to see what I'm going to be up to and what it's like to traveling in 2021. So now that I explained to you my reasons why I traveled to the Maldives I wanted to explain to you guys what you need to know before going there. Actually this is more like a general video. I try to keep it as general as possible for travel in 2021 because the measurements and requirements are pretty similar all around the world, at least like in safer countries. But before we start I actually made a travel checklist which I posted on my Pinterest and I will link down below uh, which tells you all you need to know and all you need to uh, consider before traveling um, like getting your PCR test entry form etc etc and uh, yeah I will keep the link below so definitely check that one out. So the first thing you obviously have to keep in mind is do your research what other requirements this can 
uh, depend on, from country to country. For the Maldives, it's that you need a PCR test 96 hours before arrival. Usually countries have that 72 hours before arrival, but Maldives, I think it's because it's a long distance destination for most of us. Um, it's 96 hours before arrival, which makes it a bit easier to receive your test result. Another very important thing regarding the PCR test is that it has to be in English. If you are from like non-English speaking country like me, definitely keep that in mind. And also um, that it's in PDF form. I think most PCR tests will get emailed to you, so that should be no problem. Then another requirement uh, from the Maldives, and I think that's all around the world, that you need to fill out an entry form online. In the Maldives I know that you have to put your PCR test um, on it and also I think uh, your hotel booking as well you have to also get your um, health insurance with COVID. The entry form has to be filled out 24 hours before arrival. Um, my travel agent she was like in the Maldives I think in November and she said that sometimes it doesn't work so you should do that 12 or 13 hours before arrival. In my case it's a bit difficult because I have a really long layover in Abu Dhabi and I would already be up in the air when I should fill out that um, health declaration or like entry form. So um, yeah she said I should just do it before checking and hopefully I will be able to go uh, with the airline because if you don't have your PCR test or your entry form they will not take you with them. Then if you have a layover and I think in most cases you will have a layover you should check what the requirements for the layover destination are. Sometimes destinations will want from you the entry form and the PCR test. In my case in Abu Dhabi it's only like the PCR test that I already have for the Maldives um, so that should be fine but uh, definitely check that before going and be booking that flight. Then you should also check before going um, what you need when you return to your home country. For example, in my case, I know that varies from country to country, so check your own first, but I know for Germany uh, that you need a 48-hour PCR test, which is very, very difficult, but um, hotels in the Maldives have doctors, so that's not the problem. You will get your PCR test um, in time before actually going on the flight. And then you also need um, the entry form, the health declaration that you need to fill out before actually going on the flight. I think you get a PDF uh, form back immediately and then you should be good to go. Keep in mind that airlines check this so you should definitely have all these things before going on a flight or else you could have to stay in the Maldives which isn't that bad but you probably want to go home in time. Then for me, as the Maldives are a um, high risk country, Germany requires you to quarantine when you arrive back in Germany. And um, in this case, at the moment, the requirements are as follows, five days quarantine, then get tested, not earlier, not later, and then another five days of quarantine if you are positive. If you're negative, you can also already leave um, your quarantine after five days, which Fingers crossed I will be. So that was pretty much it, um, what you need to know when going to the Maldives and also travel in general in 2021. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and definitely check out my Instagram and my TikTok where I will post a ton of stuff from my adventures in the Maldives. I will give you a tons of tips and show you that travel in 2021 is possible if you keep to the regulations and keep your distance and uh, yeah. If you want to see more of my adventures in the Maldives, definitely check out my vlogs. They will be coming soon and I'm so excited. I can't wait to take you guys along on another adventure. i see you guys in the next video. Bye!